Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayaba Creations. Today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful beaded bag right here. On this channel, we learn how to make simple beaded crafts. If today is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. You can check us out on Instagram at Ayaba Store, or you can call the WhatsApp number on your screen, or even text that same number if you want to purchase raw materials for your crafts. Kindly check out the video description for the list of raw materials I'm going to be using to make this project. Okay, let's begin. So I have my berry beads here. It's size 20 mm berry beads, and then size 10 mm pearls i'm using black pearls for this project so you are going to need two packs of berry beads and then maybe a handful or let me say one pack of pearls but some will remain for the pearls yeah so you take two berry beads and then two pearls and arrange them just like i did previously then you cross with a pearl bead like this this will give you your first ring of four beads so you should have something like this okay next what you are going to do is to pick two berry beads okay so two you're going to pass the beading thread in your right hand through the holes in it, and then your beading thread in your left hand through the holes in the other bead so just like this then you take one 10 mm pearl so you get something like this okay this video is beginner friendly as well so if then you are going to cross so if you are a beginner you can also watch this video and trust me after you are done watching you will be able to make the bag with ease okay so let's continue next I'm going to pick berry beads again so two putting one on each side of the beading thread like this and then I'm going to cross with the pearl bead so we are crossing okay so for the first stage this is what we are going to be repeating so i went ahead to continue the rest off camera all right so let's count the rings for four so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen okay so thirteen we're going to add the last one which will make it 14 so with this one you're going to put one berry bead at one side then one pearl bead then one berry bead and we are going to cross with a berry bead this time around okay so we are crossing with a berry bead like this yeah all right so we are moving on to the next stage also very easy all we are doing here is just applying the matting idea the basic matting technique that is used for beading so next you are going to take one pearl bead then one berry bead and another pearl bead so three beads in all all right then we will cross with the third pearl bead so the third bead which is the pearl bead to get something like this then i'm going to pass the beading thread through the next bead which is this one then you are going to take one berry bead and one pearl bead okay so one berry bead going through and one pearl bead and we are crossing with the pearl bead just like this all right so we are going again we're going to pass it through this then you add one berry bead and then one pearl bead and you cross with the pearl bead so this is the method you are going to keep repeating for this so you get to the last bead So as I was um, beading, my beading thread got finished. So I'm just going to teach you how you can fix that problem in case you are working and your beading thread is finished. As you can see from the video. So in case you are working and then the thread is finished, this is what you are going to do. Then after you are done, I'm going to pass the beading thread through the 
just immediate very bead okay make sure that you pull the thread inside so that the knots will enter the bead so that it will not show um, in between the design it's, you know, it's, it makes it look quite messy okay all right so then you cut a new beading thread you pass it through the berry bead and then the pearl bead and you are good to go so okay so i'm taking one berry bead one pearl bead and i'm crossing then we are going again repeating the same thing so we get to the last bead okay so here we are going to pass the beading thread through this berry bead and you're going to take one pearl one berry bead and cross with the berry bead okay so we just cross like this right so moving on to the third row we are going to repeat what we did on the second row so one pearl one berry bead one pearl like that and we are going to cross with the pearl bead then you pass the bead into it through the next berry bead which is this one then you take one berry bead and then one pearl cross with a pearl then you keep repeating this process so this is what you are going to do so you get the size you want for the back so it's just the basic matting technique but with two different sizes of beads that's you are using size 10 mm and size 20 mm that is how come we are getting this beautiful design okay so yeah I beaded the rest of camera as you can see so I'm almost done with mine you can pause the video here and then finish the work till you get to this point so that you can continue okay so we are going to pass the beading thread through the next berry bead take one berry one pearl cross with pearl so we are done okay Going to pass it through this very bead here to meet the thread here and tie our knot nicely. We are going to pass the beading thread through the beads. So we are just going to pass. I'm going to show you how to do one. So it's gone through this side, and then this is also going to go through another side. See. And when you are done, you can cut off the excess thread. This is what we all should have now at this point. Okay, so you should get something like this on the black beads at this side you should get 16 black beads in all and then the berry beads are 18 berry beads in all when you count okay for this side and then for this side so when you count the berry beads the berry beads are 13 in all however you can decide to make yours a little bigger than mine so it means you just extend it but it's the same idea okay so what we are going to do now is to make the side okay you're going to do that make the sides of the box i'm going to teach you how to do one side then you can also do the other side counting from this side so i'm going to count six so this is the seed bead when you count so you're going to pass the bead in the, through the seed black bead that's the pearl bead and then the seventh in, the seventh one so six and seven just like this okay so when you are done what you're going to do is to pick your beads now so you take your one berry bead and then one pearl bead so two in all then you cross with the pearl bead like this okay then what you are going to do next is to pass the beading thread through the next pearl bead so this pearl bead here is the eighth bead okay so you're going to take one berry bead and then one pearl bead then you cross with the pearl bead all right so you are going again you're going to pass the beading thread through the next pearl bead and then this pearl bead is the ninth bead so the ninth pearl bead okay so you're going to take one 
very thin one pill and cross with the pearl bead okay then we are going to pass the bead into it through the 10th pearl bead here and then through the 11th pearl bead okay okay so yeah then at this point you're just going to take only one berry bead just the berry bead and then you're going to cross with that berry bead all right so you will get something like this and moving on you're going to pass the bead into through the next pearl bead so this one now becomes a 12 um, pearl bead then here you're going to take one berry bead then one pearl bead and then you cross with a pearl bead okay so you are crossing with a pearl bead then you are going to move backwards now so you are going to pass a bead into it through this berry bead here this is the next berry bead okay then what you are going to do is to take one uh, one berry bead sorry and then one pearl bead okay then you are going to cross with a pearl bead like this okay so when you are done what you are going to do next is to pass the beading thread through the next berry bead so the beading thread in your right hand is going to go through the next berry bead like this then you are going to add one berry then one pearl then you cross okay then you're going to pass the beading thread through the next bead here yeah, this one then you're going to take it also through this pearl bead right here so this one is going to go through two then you're going to add just one berry bead so this is done at the corner so when you are getting to the end okay so we are moving on to the next two so this will help us to make the size of the back so i'm going to put the bead into it through this next bead here so that's the next pearl bead you are going to take one berry bead then one pearl bead and you cross with the pearl bead okay so get something like this then what you are going to do next is to pass the bead in right through the next berry bead okay and then you are going to take one berry one pearl and cross with a pearl all right so you are going to pass it through the next again this one then you are going to take one berry and then one pearl and then cross with the pearl then you're going to pass it through the next at this point you're also going to pass it through the pearl bead because we are at the end for this video then you take just one berry bead like that and then you cross with the okay so you're crossing then you're going to pass a bead into it through the next pearl bead then you're going to take one berry one pearl then you cross with the pearl then what you're going to do next is to pass the bead into it through this okay then you're going to take one berry and then one pearl so one berry one pearl and you cross So yeah, basically this is what you are going to be repeating. So I hope it's clear now and you can do it.
so we are almost at the end okay so here we are going to take just one berry bead so this one then you're going to pass the thread through this pearl bead and then also through the berry bead here to me it's the beading thread at the other side and then you tie your knot and then when you pass the beading thread through the beads you can cut off your excess thread been done at the other side of the bag is going to be repeated at this side too so you just do the same thing here at this side to close the sides for the bag next we are going to join this side to the other side okay so it's pretty easy just watch and then you understand Okay, so you should have something like this by now. To make the handle of the bag, first I'm going to count so one, two, three, four. So this is the fourth bead right here. So I'm going to pass a new beading thread through this bead here. Okay. Then what I'm going to do next is to take one berry bead. Then I'm going to take one pearl bead. Then I'm going to take another berry bead. Okay, I'm going to cross with the berry bead. Then what I'm going to do next is to take one, but okay, so first you can do it as I'm doing. You take two berry beads and put it on one side like this. Then what you are going to do is uh, next is to take one. Pelvic. So I'm going to put the pelvic at the opposite side of the thread like this. Okay. Then when you are done like this, you're going to take the berry bead at this side and then you're going to cross. So the second berry bead, you are crossing the second berry bead to get something like this. Alright, so next you are going to take the pearl bead again and two berry beads. So pearl bead on one side, two berry beads on the other side. Okay. So I'm, I'm doing it for you to see how it looks like. So the two berry beads are this side, and then the pearl bead is on this side right here. Then what you are going to do is to take the berry bead here, this one, and you are going to cross with the other thread. So you are crossing like this. Okay. Now to finalize this part. What you're going to do is to take one berry bead so just one berry bead now not two so one berry bead on one side then one pearl bead on another side just look at how i'm going to finish it so i'm going to take one berry bead now taking it so i'm going to pass this berry bead through the berry bead on the other side which is this one Then I will take my pearl bead and I'm going to cross. Going forward, we are just going to continue with just the pearl beads, okay? So, first we are going to take three pearl beads. You're going to put two on one side of the beading thread and then you're going to cross with the third one. So, just look at how it's done. So I'm taking one, two, three here. So these are three. Okay. Then I'm going to pick the third one, which is this one. And then I'm going to cross. So 
when you cross it you should get something like this pass the beading through it through the next pearl bead then you're going to take two pearls then you put one here so then you cross with the second one okay so this then you're going to cross next we are going to pass the beading thread through the next so the next one is this so that's the next pearl beading you take two pearls so two then you are going to cross with the second one and then at this point you're going to pass the beading thread through this pearl bead right here and then also through this pearl bead right here okay then you are going to take one pearl bead and cross with the same pearl bead. So this is what you are going to be repeating this method. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six for here. So we are continuing. I'm going to pass the beading thread through this bead here, through this bead here. Then the beading thread on the other side is going to go through this bead and also through this bead. What you are going to do is you take three beads, put one bead on each side of the beading thread and cross with the third bead to give a ring of four beads. So here we are going to be doing rings of four. So just watch, it's also very easy, you can do it. So I continued and then in total I made 17 rings of 4 of camera. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, I count 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, then 17. Okay, so we are going to join this to the other side of the of this so okay so we did this for the down part so we are going to add it to uh, join it to the top part so first you are going to take um one pearl bead like this then you're going to pass it through this bead right here okay then what you're going to do next is to take another pearl bead so just one and you're going to cross okay so we are crossing like this Okay, so you should get something like this. And we are going to pass the beading thread through this bead here. And also through this bead right here. Okay, then we will take 
one pearl and cross with the last same pearl bead so you're going to pass a bead into it through this bead and then this bead into it also through this bead here then we are also going to take one pearl and cross with that same pearl so that's why you are going to be repeating okay pretty easy So when you get to this point and you still have excess um, thread, you don't have to tie a knot and um, just throw it away. You can actually pass it around the beads like I am doing to the other side, okay? And still use the same thread to begin at the other side, okay? So I'm turning the bag like this, okay? to pass a bit into it through this and then also through this all right then this bit into it is going to go through this and then it's going to go through this okay so what you are going to do is to pick one and cross like that then pass through this pass through this pick one pair and then you cross all right so it's basically the same thing you're going to be repeating here too in the end you should have something like this okay so you see one two three this is the fourth bead here we started on that one so here also you are going to count one two from this particular side as a reference point one two three four so on the fourth bead you are going to repeat the same thing i did at the other side at this here you join it and then you are done with the bag so then you are going to do it for the other side of the bag too, so that you can get two handles so voila this is what you are going to get in the end okay so don't forget to like the video share and comment see you in our next video